Hi, and welcome to your tarot reading. I don't know what the reading's about yet. We'll mix the cards together, we'll pull the cards together, and we will read the cards together. Nothing cut, nothing edited. And at the end, I've got some message cards for you as well. So right now, I'm going to start mixing the cards and tuning in. So as, as I'm tuning in, I'm seeing the Six of Wands in my mind. And basically what that means is that it could be movement. So I think this is going to pertain for a lot of you for a move that's coming up. It could be a job move. It could be a change of, uh, of residence. And I'm hearing change of career. So those of you that are contemplating you're moving into some different career energy, definitely pay attention. But there could be a lot of other things. So what else? The Six of Wands. It's um, a victory card, but it's overcoming a lot. So the last six months have likely been challenging. Well, they've been challenging for most of us, but likely in a specific way for you. And you're addressing that basically. So we'll see what we actually comes up in the cards. Uh, this feels good. So I break into three piles, bring back into one in any order, hold the card to my, my chest, pick from the middle, and there's no way that I could possibly know, unless I see it in my mind, what's coming up for you. Although a whole bunch of cards want, want to fall out. Um, okay. And let's just start with, with these for right now. And I'll, I'll keep pulling cards as we go along. So this is what, what we pulled here for you. And this one came up, up reversed. So I'm going to actually do this one at a time. Look, the magician card creates. Don't let people around you or circumstances bring you down at this time. That you either have some really good ideas, excuse me, <laughs> warned you, no cuts, all live. <laughs> um, really good ideas around you. Maybe a little bit hesitant to move forward on it, but... Something's happened. There's been um, things that have fallen, basically. Things are, are just not the way they used to. Again, I think a lot of you were dealing with work, money, business issues, and it's just not the same. And it's almost as if spirit or a higher force is really telling you, look, you know, you've, you've got some good ideas or directions, or if you're not identifying with that yet, it's time to meditate on it because they're very close to the surface. There's been wherever your workplaces, or this could be home also. This could re uh, relate to family or home life. It's chaotic. There's been some moves already. And I'm seeing uh, two children in my mind. So for a lot of you, there, there's some connection with uh, children, younger children particularly. Um, how that fits in, I'm not really sure. But, uh, but I think for some of you, it does. But mostly, oh, okay. But for some of you, they're saying, that around your work, around business or whatever, that there's a couple of people that are really acting like children now and they should be more responsible. So in any event, it just feels very muddled, disorganized, and just circumstances around you. Like it's not impossible to stay where you are working or whatever. Um, it's just a little bit difficult or uncomfortable. So let me um, pull from these cards now. I want to I want to get a couple more cards here and see if we can get more specific. What's going on? Trust your intuition. Creative stuff that, that you're very um, very adept at some form of creativity, whether it's art or music or if it's more um, on the lines of um, understanding how things work or building things or, or building businesses. This is the time. This is the time for you for your your skills matter to time to turn that into doing something that's going to be fun for you, profitable, and, okay, um, pull a few more here. I'm just going to pull them up one at a time. So basically, again, there's moving and travel. So it, embrace a change if you are moving to a different location or if there's a job change that's coming. This is about travel and comfort. And the magician is also about things like wisdom and skill. Being a little bit more quiet now may, may serve you very well. You have some ideas. This is the harvest card. This is the time to put some good practical ideas. What have you been putting off? 
as far as doing things for you, like you're doing a lot for other people, helping other people to be wealthy maybe, or helping other people to feel better. But what about you? What's coming back for you? And uh, to, to have cups, it's reversed, but it's still a meeting. As you start to gather ideas and start to gain momentum, now, again, this could be a self-employment. This could be business. Again, most of you, this is a work-related uh, reading today. Um, for some of you, it could be job-related, but a job that would have more meaning for you. And somebody's likely to be helpful, but also, let me see what this last card is saying. Yeah, also that, that you've been, been having to, and you've been able to let go of somebody or something, kind of getting back to something in the beginning, that you and many of us have come under a lot of stress from other people, people being you know, envious or competitive or that you're different and you have good ideas and whatever the reason. And I think for a lot of you, it just boils down to they want what you have or, or you're in line for something that they want, basically. And a lot of like pettiness and nitpicking. And again, it just shows if you're in a disorganized situation with work or home life or both this readings for you and I want to pull maybe one more card if I can find where I put all my cards um, and um, I have these facing you um, so three more <laughs> and the first one a high priestess and the uh, so this is kind of shifting gears a little bit. For those of you that, that are going through any ups and downs romantically, the sun card is saying that there's been a, a little bit of um, it's a miscommunication. Maybe there's been a separation. and um, it's, But with the sun card, everything's going to be okay. So a little bit of a flavor of personal stuff with, with a friendship or partnership. Be aware of misunderstandings. But mostly, I feel like that this talks about somebody in the past that affects the present that's been either talking negatively behind your back, that's been manipulative, deceitful in a way, that's been trying to undermine things. But you are either recognizing who this is or you did already, you're separating from them, and the sun card means you're going to be happier. You're going to have your day in the sun. So... I think within six months, certainly within a year, if you follow through on some of the things that we're saying, cultivate your ideas. And this could go into your personal life or friendships also, but with your work, career, cultivate your ideas. And some really good things are going to happen. You're going to have your day in the sun. So I promise a couple of divination cards. Last for wisdom from the animals now. Oh, this one feels right. This is a pueo, it's a bird. <laughs> Pueos mean, uh, hold on a second, do I have glasses? Yes, I do. Saved by the glasses. Pueo, a Caribbean owl. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Look for the signs. You'll know when it's time to act. Be open. Open your heart to more spiritual information. If you're attracted to this video and this channel, chances are that you're at least open to spirituality if you don't have an active spiritual practice already. It starts with the heart, blending the heart and the brain. That's going to help to bring those ideas. And because the owls, the Hawaiian owls, can also represent ancestors, those on the other side and your guides are giving you some of the information we're talking about. They're telling you what you need to do to be happy, to feel fulfilled, and to feel like you're on the right path in this new and evolving earth. And uh, we also have a Kyle Gray deck, Angels and Ancestors. So we'll pull the car, get a quick closing message for you. And if you like these videos and want to see more of them on your home feed, then subscribe to the channel. YouTube will drop more of my videos on your home screen if you like. Let's see what we pulled. Sky Father. So this has a very... A motif about birds. Birds represent messengers from spirit to the Native American and indigenous people. Trust in the unknown. So the final message is take a chance. Anything that you haven't tried is unknown. Everything tomorrow is unknown. Don't be afraid of the unknown. 
if you follow your heart, follow your intuition, to follow the guidance of spirit, you're not going to be without money. You're not going to be without resources. You're going to be taken care of and you're going to manifest something that's really amazing that's going to help other people. And you're going to really start to fulfill your life purpose and your life path. So let's post the 2024 autumn psychic forecast right over here for you to check out all the amazing changes and the challenging ones that are coming up. I love you and we'll see you at the next video. Namaste.